Okay, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 2, Housekeeping. In today's episode, we basically realized that we needed to do some housekeeping to clear the decks. We, our ideas are we want to continue our series composing multiple dimensions, assess and gather our resources, brainstorm our themes. However, we need to do a little cleanup. We had a bunch of folders and files left in our OneDrive and a bunch of folders and files left on our Google Drive. So we, uh, we did that. We went through and resorted everything here. We now have a new folder that's the Composing in full media, it's all this stuff in it. We took it so that it doesn't block our view anymore. And then we also had uh, here, we made a new folder called Composing Napkin Diagrams. Then we put all the previous diagrams in there. We even found some ones we'd worked on last year. So that got done. That's good work there. Good work. And finally, as part of completing, and the theme we had for the, the idea here is that the energy of completion of an arc of work gives you energy to feed forward in starting our new arc. And we, in doing that, we need to keep an eye on our pace and our energy and our balance and our poise because we are continuing continuing to work uh, here. The things that we're doing here are interacting with our other projects and our other projects are interacting with us and we have to continue the discipline of streaming uh, and keep moving forward and then if we have to figure out new ways to keep it all going and that's that's the balance and poise bit try schedule if you will how and when we work in on what so that said the final thing we did is we decide we looked back at the finished pieces in our full media suite and we feel like we have eight uh, identified eight finished pieces um, yeah, let's put that down here identified eight finished pieces to feature from the prior series. And what we want to do is um, and we reviewed and reordered them. Them to a pleasing play order. So we'll just kind of briefly highlight what that play order is. You've heard all these if you were in the prior series. We think we'd like to start with this one, what we call the hymn. So it starts that way and it ends somewhere over here. Duh. Then the second piece would be what we call the trio. Duh. 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 So that's not a bad cut over. It's a definite change in scale. You see we're going from 3, 4, 4, 3, R to 2, 5, 5, 2. So we want the suite to show off the multiple scales that we composed in. It was called full media after all. So that's the end piece of that one. Then we go to this 1331 scale, which is one of our brand new out of nowhere scales coming from the shadow. And it had a lot of uh, modulation until it came back down somewhere over here. 
we deliberately ended on a so then we return to C3443R, kind of making a full circle here. And we think the first four are the first suite. And this is a longer piece. You can see it's three megabytes. So it would go through its majestic uh, process here. And it ends on that note. Then... It ends on a note. <laughs> then we'd come back to 2552, which is a lilt. And we had forgotten we composed that, but we like it. We like it. We had Fonz and Doze, which is 3443R, and 2552, and Shadow. And that was pretty recent, so you've heard that a lot if you've been in our prior series. Then we go to the 2552 again. This is a very pleasing, ethereal one. By the way, these are all on our YouTube playlist if you want to go hear them. Then we end on number eight with this another scale that came out of nowhere, the leashes. And it's got a clarinet and stuff in there, and then it ends over here. So that's that's what we're thinking of. Uh, thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Tune in next time as we continue this composing in multiple dimensions. We look forward to seeing you back here. A shout out to our favorite uh, Mr. Spatz. Always good to see you. And take care. See you soon. <laughs>